uh, hello again YouTube DVD here today I made a great progress about my real assembly tool so I'm gonna show you what I did and I'm happy about it first of all you all know that I can spawn a rail and stack it in very freak angles like that but the thing I changed are those three pitch yaw and row this offsets the pitch of my coordinate system the yaw of my coordinate system and the row of the next rail so I can make stuff like this point to one active position then change the pitch oops that by the way had to be yaw because this here is actually this one this angle is my up and now it should be ok because I defined my local and forward and up vectors I need to change my pitch and that will present my rail to pitch of defined positive 25.89 so on and no matter the, of the angle I choose for this rail my defined pitch will be actually in this much mount if I say 5 here it will be 45 like so and another great feature is the coordinate system yaw which can make my rail like that I am already managing to do it, this because the active position of the next rail is exactly on the active position of the previous rail and based on that I calculate everything oops sorry the credit goes for, for my PC here it calculates everything so let's put those to zero Let's see what happens if I choose one of those three. You already saw the pitch. The yaw. The row is from the previous video, but I, I did not show this to you because I forgot. Silly me. Those two are different than this one here. So let's put some pitch like that, some yaw of 90 degrees to see better what happens here. And based on this active position, I can roll my rail, which is kind of nice. and based on that I can achieve many great things like curving for example see this rail if I set up my parameters correctly 
like the yaw like that the row is like that click click oops that will be not very smooth yaw of negative one roll of two I guess see what happens here this rail is actually flat but those two are curved, curved. with two degrees and next with two degrees and next with two degrees and so on only problem is though if you spawn too much rails you have to count them because the last rail has to be flat also after the curve because I stacked here two of those rails I can negate my roll and make another two rails like so in the middle I have a nice curve as you see here so about that and the other things are still the same so I can do more stuff with put apps so I can read the read of this square of two so here's my LQR left right controller click that click that um, here I have to set up my pick controller for a down for better handling like 4000 I think we'll do but let's see first so let's do that before trying something else Three thousand eight hundred sixty-four ops and CPU time of two milliseconds. That's because I'm recording this video in thirty frames per second using fraps like always. My PC has to render it real time then store it to a file, which is quite large amount of data so let's try this thing again Yeah. 
Yeah, well, now we can achieve. Oh, my FAPS is not letting me do the thing here. Yeah, see with the, that great amount of speed my button is floating right there my control is going out of the display So anyways, with smooth curve you can achieve great speeds, big speeds, it's, I guess it's Gmod fault, this display should be right here. I guess it's some kind of speed limit that have been put recently. But if anyone asks, I can provide a picture with a 312 km per hour speed record. So, another thing guys. Uh, by the way, some friends of mine asked me to make the next video in Bulgarian. That, by the way, is my true language, because I'm from Bulgaria and know that. But if you guys want me to do next video in Bulgarian, just write in the comments below. So there. The map, the map I'm playing on currently is called Guys Mod Unlimited, GM Unlimited. You can get this from the workshop. Because it's nice and cool with nice rails. It does have switches and all that stuff, but with for making speed, speed records and such things, you don't really need that crap. So there, I hope you like my new video. Hope you like my progress on the Real Assembly tool. And you want to, to do the next video in Bulgarian, just Ryan down below. So thanks for watching. Have fun and see you next time.